Hello there and welcome back to a brand new Master Moldy video here on the channel and today there's going to be no spoilers for Acolyte. I haven't seen the finale, I'm recording this a day early so there's going to be no major plot spoilers at least. There might be a character reference that you may not get if you haven't watched the show but on my desk I do have the reformed Jedi Temple mock. This is taken the 2013 Yoda Chronicles I believe Lego Jedi Temple and I've just removed the holocrons, added these big pillars to make it look like the room that we see Sol training his younglings in. It's, I do believe, the same room we then see hundreds of years later, Anakin and Obi-Wan dueling. And then it might also be the same room that Anakin has his, let's say, accident in Revenge of the Sith. But we won't be starting off in any particular order i will just be choosing these figures at random and let's start with master indara this is actually my oldest acolyte mock if you remember the video where i built different lego star wars shows well different disney plus shows i think it was in lego this is where this minifigure comes from it uses the obi-wan kenobi torso and legs and the ray head and hair and for a purist custom, I think it comes really close to the official design, which is quite nice if you don't want to be pulling hands, legs, and different components off your minifigures. It just saves any parts of them cracking. And for our next minifigure, I have put the camera down because this is a two in one. I guess technically we've got 12 minifigures today. We have here Osha, but as you can see, Osha is holding knives. So Perhaps this is May in disguise as Osha. This can get really confusing in the show, but I've used the Rebel Torso and Legs from the Battlefront 2 Battle Pack. It was a great battle pack. We really would need a custom hair piece for this character. It's a bit like Fennec Shan's hair or the Queen Amidala minifigure. There's not really a Lego hair piece to represent them well enough, so I've used the old Harry Potter hair piece, but again, would be best getting a custom one if Lego were to ever make these characters. Next up, we have one of my favourite characters that has appeared in the show, Jackie. And this custom minifigure is made with Asajj Ventress's head and Omega's hair, I do believe. It's the closest we have. I think she's a brand new species as far as Lego is concerned. So again, I'd love to see at least one set that includes the main bunch of these minifigures. Would probably only get five or six of them so if you do stick around till the end of the video let me know what five or six of these minifigures you'd like to see lego make i think one of the minifigures lego can't miss out on if they do give us an acolyte set is master soul so i've created him here with qui-gon's robes he seems more like a qui-gon figure he does have the darker i'm not sure if they're leggings or boots that are darker perhaps even both of them and the white and tan robes. So Qui-Gon's body and legs goes perfectly. For the expression, looking at him in the show, it had to be Tex Head. I've used Tex Head for a few characters before. And again, it's a perfect use for Sol here. And then I've given him some longer hair that somewhat represents him in the show, though I'm sure there's probably a better Lego version out there somewhere being used for another character. Though you can see all of my gonks in the background, we don't get any droids really in this set. Well, at least none big enough to build in Lego, but we do get a Wookiee, Kel Naka, and yeah, I've just given Chewbacca a lightsaber. There's not really much you can do because of the torso piece to Chewie. I really hope Lego gives us a Chewbacca head rather than the torso. Start printing those torsos and then we can Use the head for other figures like Kelnaka, even a custom Agaburi who's from the High Republic books and create characters like Kurosantan much, much easier. I'm starting to realise this video is going to be all over the place, much like the mind of Jedi Master Torbin. I'm pretty sure we're introduced to him as Master Torbin at some point. You can see that he is using that Wrecker headpiece to get the scar on his eye, which is when we first see him. And I've included, rather than a coloured lightsaber, a round 2x2 two two brick so that we can have him levitating in his meditative state. Now, not everyone has a blue, green, red, purple lightsaber. Lego are still yet to give us 
a yellow saber no matter how many times it's appeared so i've used a bunch of my hands from city minifigures to give us this yellow lightsaber or more particularly to give yord this yellow lightsaber as soon as i saw the character my mind went straight to that matteo hair it's not a perfect match and it does have that green slime mark on it but i think it comes pretty close and I would really love for Lego to give us a translucent yellow blade. We've got it for Yord now. There are a few other characters in the show. Ahsoka does have a yellow-ish blade when she is a Padawan, but it is closer to this green. In fact, it looks like it's the old translucent green that Lego used to give to their Jedi minifigures. We did get that same species as Plo Koon show up, but there was actually a guest appearance from Jedi Master Ki Adi Mundi, a much younger version than him and... I know that he's only meant to live to about 50 based on an old card game and there were a few Legends fans not happy about that and of course it's Star Wars, everyone jumped on the bandwagon. But alongside Ki Mundi we got introduced to a new Jedi Master if you haven't read the books and that is Master Venestra who does actually have a light whip rather than a lightsaber. I did try building this, the attempts didn't really go to plan so i instead settled on this grandmaster luke torso and legs from the sequels and this is actually green goblin's face that i've used it's by no means perfect but it's the closest green head that i've got unless i wanted to use the hulk or drax's head which looked even worse than them. so i had to go with the brand new yellow eyes matching up the other recent force wielding alien minifigures that Lego were giving us. And perhaps I shouldn't be standing him too close to Venestra. Look at me trying to spoil it and I haven't even seen the finale. But we do have Kamir here. I would love to see some sort of doll or something in the finale. So if you haven't watched the show, you'll know that the red blades still mean bad guys. But I've actually managed to build this shorter saber you can see he's technically holding the blade using a one by four blade and two of these technic clips which make it look a lot shorter than the other because i don't have a three length translucent red bar though i'm pretty sure lego have probably made one at some point and last but not least we have mother anisea who does definitely need a minifigure if we were to get a set so if i had to pick five of these minifigures to get in the set i think it will be soul yord jecky may because then we could probably get i'll tell you what i will sacrifice yord for may and osha and then a mother and isaiah yeah. we could also get a second set i guess with a few more of the jedi or dependent on what happens in the finale we might even be getting a scene off of that but i just really hope lego do make a set on the acolyte and don't just skip over it like it feels like they're doing with bad batch season three because we definitely need to get a yellow lightsaber at some point we can't just wait until the next rate movie and even then they could change her lightsaber color and suddenly it's green or blue just to match up with the lego version i think that's what they did for last year's diorama but let me know down in the comments if you are enjoying Acolyte. If you aren't, don't just say you don't like the show. What don't you like about it? I'm really interested to hear your thoughts and opinions on the shows and the minifigures I've just made. Be sure to drop a like if you did enjoy the video and subscribe for more awesome LEGO Star Wars content. And a few other themes are sneaking in there gradually. But check out all the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always.